group chat. Today, in the spirit of Valentine's Day, we're asking all of you, what is your love language? Is it words of affirmation? Is it quality time together? Acts of service, gifts, physical touch? Is it something else? Those are the main ones, but is it something else? Tracy P., I'm going to, uh, I'm going to start with you. Mine gets a bad rep, but mine is <laughs> gifts. I like gifts. People tend to think with your, your love language is gifts that you're greedy, greedy. I want gifts all the time. Give me expensive gifts. It's not really about how much they cost. It's just about the thought. Like, I like a Snickers bar. But if you just came <laughs> home and you brought me a Snickers bar, that doesn't cost a lot of money, but that would make me really, really happy. It's just the fact that you were out somewhere, you saw something that you thought that I might like, and you got it for me. I really, really like that. So for me, that's my love language. But but remember, it doesn't always mean that that's what you like to give people. I don't like to give gifts back. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good to know. But you're right. It's not about it being a big thing. It's the thought, the thought that you remembered and thought, let me pick this up. Because yes. Tracy likes this. What's your, what's your love language, Kathleen? It is words of affirmation. Mm -hmm. I like being told how great I am. <laughs> I want you to express that to me through language. Okay, I'm the exact same as you. I'm words of affirmation, and I need to know that you see me. And I think that, especially being married to a man like Leo, like Leo really reserves his compliments. Like, he's not out there giving them out to everybody. So if he says, oh, I watched this segment or I read this thing, and, and, and he says that, you know, that was Good. I'm like, yeah! So let's go over to Julie. Julie, what is your love language? It's nice to hear once in a while, you know, you look great. I still want to hear it. Yeah. So I like that, but it's also a combination of the physical, like the affection. I'm a cuddler. I do actually like that, the hand-holding. I think it's actually adorable, PDAs. Yeah. Like, it doesn't bother me. To me, I think it's really sweet, so. I think it's really sweet too, especially when I see it in older couples. I think it's really lovely, really nice. Okay, over to uh, Trevor now. Trevor, what's your love language? Tracy, is it a cop-out if I'm an all-of-the-above kind of guy? <laughs> I'm very emotional and I'm very needy. I'm the needy one in the relationship. <laughs> but I think there's one thing that I think is really a language for me is when your partners understand and make the sacrifice to commit to something that you like that they don't necessarily like. Mm -hmm. My wife is not a big cooker. Uh, and so being around food all day and I come home late, the last thing I actually want to do is cook a meal, even for myself. So, you know, a lot of times she'll have a meal that she's ordered in and she'll order something I like and it's waiting there for me. So that Aww. goes right to my stomach, but to my heart as well. Absolutely. Food will always do it for me. That's lovely. And Alicia, uh, last but not least, what is your love language? That's what makes me really feel truly loved is when my partner gives me the time, especially when he doesn't have the time. And spending time with my family, that is definitely uh, my love language. I love spending time with my kids, um, taking them to the park as a family. That is definitely, I would say, my love language. Um, my partner sometimes, he would bring me flowers, and I love that too. But the fact that he would, you know, take the time to uh, come over and just like sit with me or or like, you know, ask me how my day was and give me that little bit of extra quality time is definitely my love language. Thanks, Alicia. We asked our viewers the same question and here's what you told us is your love language. Simone says quality time. Amy says humor. Janet tells us sharing great food. For Selma Ann, it's acts of service. And for Jennifer, girl after my heart, she says bread. <laughs> Thanks for sharing, everyone. <laughs>